Hey guys, Bombbuster72 here again. Today I have a 3D animation for you guys, and this is an overview of an AR-15 trigger and its functioning. These are the four main parts that we're going to be talking about. The trigger, the hammer, the disconnector, and the safety. And there's also some various springs involved. Now this animation is going to play through a couple of times, so hopefully you can catch everything that's going on inside of the trigger group when you squeeze off around. Alright, now let's see that again, a little bit slower pace so we can try to catch everything. And then after this plays, I'm going to go one more time through it, and we'll stop it in a few key places and talk about what's going on. So what we have here, when the safety is engaged, the trigger is not able to travel far enough to release the hammer. Once you rotate it, the cutout on the inside of the safety selector will allow the trigger to move. The sear on the trigger and the hammer surfaces are engaged currently, and they're waiting for you to pull the trigger. Once the trigger is pulled, the hammer is now free to rotate forward. Spring pressure allows that drives the hammer forward and this fires around. Once it's fired, the gas pressure pushes the bolt carrier group rearward. This pushes the hammer back and it latches onto the disconnector. This is what keeps your hammer from going forward as you're holding the trigger rearward. Now when you release the trigger, this pushes the front of the disconnector up, unlatching it, but right before that, the trigger sear and the hammer engage. Until next time, take care and be safe. 